out, which is its head. Remove that. Despite Rosemary's enthusiasm for this popular Spanish dish, Debbie's not convinced. It was a big effort for me to stand there and watch all that. The reason I didn't run out of the room was I just didn't want to let the family down. We've come here to, to do something and we're just going to do it. Literally just but luckily for Debbie, Rosemary turns her attention elsewhere. Come on, would you like to please come and have a go at this, please, before me? Oh. I would like you now to do the other one. Will you please come and have a go? You? Yes, yes, please. Slimy. You. Yes. Will you come and do this, please? Now, what do you do? What did I do? Good girl. No, just put it on there for the moment. Oh, right, OK. Oh, oh. Then what did I do? Oh, oh. Took the bone out. Pull it. That's it. Fantastic. OK, well done. You're doing very well. I'm really impressed with you. But it's not bad, is it? No, it's not No, it's bad. not. You see, when you, you, you know, you just get on with it. OK, we're going to get this paella pan quite warm and we're going to put some salt over the rabbit. I'm going to put it into a little bit of paprika. And fry it. With the rabbit browning in a paella pan, the next stage is to chop the squid into rings. The onions, tomatoes and peppers are softened for a few minutes in fresh olive oil. It's a whole new experience for deep fat frying fanatic Mike. How old's the oil rolls there? Is it all like mine? How old's the what? The oil. Oh, the oil? oil like no! We're going to put in tomatoes, saffron, bay leaf, Marjoram, garlic. I'm going to put a little bit of sea salt in here, but not much. There are also prawns, monkfish, and mussels to cook. Part of the family's culinary education is to learn how to tell if ingredients are fresh. A hot tip to tell whether your mussel is alive. There we are. And just to get one that's slightly open, you go with it, and it closes. The mussels are cooked in white wine for two minutes. Don't they look wonderful? Oh, they look fabulous! Next, the paella rice is put in the pan and simmered for 15 minutes. Can you see? Look how gorgeous that is. Once that is ready, rosemary adds the rest of the ingredients. The pan is then covered for the flavours to soak in while the teams clear up. With so many stages to making this complicated dish, teamwork is the key. Yes, I think it's very important tomorrow, when you come to do this, you must delegate amongst your own families. Hands up, children, who would like your mother to be the boss? Two. <laughs> You're the boss tomorrow. OK. <laughs> Boys, hands up who'd like the mother to be the boss? No. <laughs> no, you're not allowed to vote. Mother. <laughs> Father, you're it. I'll probably end up taking over anyway. <laughs> I'll delegate as my manager. <laughs> Martin may be a reluctant leader, but before he can test his authority in the kitchen, it's time for the families to try the finished paella. Up until today, the most sophisticated recipe the red team had tackled was Dad's deep-fried burger and chips. And the Thai's idea of haute cuisine, a loaf of sliced white. Can they be converted? Come on, squid, fish, everything. Come on, go for it. It's not what you think. No, it's exactly. Nice. That's exactly right. It's all got its tentacles. It needs a loaf of bread, does it? I wouldn't even mind the squid, but I don't like it with the, 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 the sucker bits on, you know. I could eat the rice and the fish, but I couldn't eat because I don't like prawns or oysters. Right, Gainer's obviously not been concentrating. There are no oysters in this dish. Will Matthew be any more enthusiastic? Go on with you. Stop it moaning. OK, you do it. Go on with you. <laughs> Did you buy it? Not a complete success. What will Team Sherrod think? Have a bit of everything. No, do you like that? Yeah, it's nice, that. It's nice? Fantastic! <laughs> what do you think? You're in heaven, I can tell. He, he's going he's to finish the whole blooming lot. He's a foodie, it's this guy. Gorgeous. He's a foodie. It's Is it nicer than your fried burgers? A lot nicer. nicer. A lot nicer. Seriously? Seriously? It's gorgeous, I love it so much. <laughs> Debbie hated the thought of fish and rabbit. Surely, like the blue team, she's bound to loathe it. It's lovely, you see? 
success. In just 24 hours' time, whether they like it or not, both families will compete against the clock and each other to produce the perfect paella in a kitchen showdown. Luckily for the Reds, Debbie has found her inner confidence. For me, that's an achievement, because normally I just don't do seafood. The rabbit's an achievement for me, because it's something I've never tasted. And I enjoyed it, it was nice, and I would, I would most definitely go for it again. But the blue team is a long way from such culinary enlightenment. I'm a bit disappointed, really, because I don't like squid and I don't like seafood or fish or prawns. It tasted fatty, so, you know, not like our grill that we have that's dry. They've surprised me with rabbit and squid, really, so I'm worried what's going to be next. If the families thought the main course was difficult, now there's another one to master, raspberry souffle. First step in this notoriously difficult dessert is to prepare the base mixture known as creme pâtissière. Creme pâtissière is a thick, sweet custard. It needs to be thick and it's made with flour to thicken it up. So you heat the milk in the pan. We're now going to put the egg yolks into a bowl, add some sugar, and we're going to whisk. Will you please whisk? We're going to add the flour. And then we're going to add the corn flour. Internationally renowned chef Rosemary Schrager is guaranteed to get her souffles to rise because she knows that too much flour will make the base go hard and the pud will collapse. Oh, careful, 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 careful. We're going to put it in this bag, make sure it's all in. There we go. Both families need to pay full attention. At the end of this lesson, Rosemary expects her protégés to produce this dish in a timed practice run designed to prepare them for tomorrow's competition in front of our panel of external judges. We're just going to put some sugar into it and go like this. And we're going to take a third of our raspberries, just a third, just mash it in there, fold in the egg yolk and the vanilla. Perfect! Right. Now, here we go. Whisking the egg whites just right is critical to the process. Over whipped, they may separate, and the cooked souffle could easily collapse. Now, do you see it's slightly shiny? Now, do you see it's slightly shiny? Right, I want it to go slightly okay. Do you see now? Look, 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 watch it. Watch it. Now. Now, we're going to take of the mixture, and we can be quite reasonably rough with this, you know. Adding the egg whites to the base mixture must be done very carefully. The families are right to look worried. Is that so you're not um, pushing all the air out of it? This is the folding technique. There we go. Sugared and buttered, the ramekin dishes are ready for the mixture. Now, you then take your finger around the outside like this, and that helps it with the rising. Make sure all the air goes out of it. What happens if the air doesn't well, go out of it? Well, it's another reason why it should fail. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. Put some more on. Go with it, hold it, and just go backwards and forwards. Look, do it this way. No, do it, yes, nearly right. Come here. Let me see you do that. Ten minutes in the oven at 180 degrees and Rosemary's desserts have risen. This is how a perfect souffle should be done and I expect you to do it exactly like this. It should be soft in the middle and hard on the outside. That's a perfect souffle. Mmm! Come on, all of you have a taste. Rosemary's made it look easy. Can the families pull it off in their practice run? Heaven. Beautiful. Gorgeous. <laughs> You're fast. Fantastic. Still to come, the ovens are not the only things to get hot as tempers boil over. Move out your way. You can't be fast with it. All right, everybody, calm down. And Rosemary's left with a nasty taste in her mouth. It's actually revolting. Seriously disgusting, I'm sorry. Sherrits and the Thais are devoted to deep fat frying and sliced white. 